Okay, YouTube, this is Maker Steve in the workshop, and I wanted to go over uh, the support rod system I got for my CR-10S uh, last week, and, uh, but I thought before I did that, I'd go over the uh, support rod system I have on my original CR-10. Um, I've got miles of filament printed through this printer, um, and it keeps going. I've done uh, quite a bit of upgrades, um, but one of the first I did was the support rod. Um, and you buy um, two 24 inch lengths of five 16 inch uh, threaded rod off YouTube, the nuts, um, and then some uh, uh, metric screws, um, and uh, with just a little effort you're up and going. Um, the, the prints are pretty heavy but they've held up well, there's a little cracking up in the upper corner here. Um, but that's pretty much been that way since day one and I really didn't know exactly what I was doing when I first started out 3D printing. So uh, overall I'm really happy. Uh, one of the drawbacks of the system is it limits the overall height that the uh, uh, Z-axis can go. Uh, it'll hit these brackets up here if it goes up all the way. Um, so you've got to go in and basically tell uh, Cure or whatever your slicer is that your limit um, for this uh, 400 millimeter Z axis is now limited to about 370. Um, so, um, yeah, it was one of the first upgrades I did. Um, I swapped out to mirrors. Um, I put on the uh, the uh, OEM fan fang off Thingiverse. Um, printed a couple uh, uh, widgets to hold the control box and and uh, the tools. Um, and this printer has just been going and going. Um, I did upgrade it with the dual Z access um, and I put in the upgraded uh, CR-10S motherboard but it had some issues with a capacitor that uh, you can see going around, floating around in discussion on Thingiverse. So um, overall great system. Um, so I had the opportunity to buy a uh, used one off uh, eBay that basically is a return to the factory and I'll swivel you over to it and uh, with a little bit of fixing um, this printer is up and going um, so now my uh, my method is to keep the printers as stock as possible um, because every time you uh, add or subtract something from the system um, you're, you're introducing variables that can make it more complicated and I just want to print and print and print so uh, the goal here is is stupid simple um, this this printer here um, about the only thing wrong with it out of the box was the uh, extruder was bad uh, it had a crack in it I could see why the person returned it I don't know how they didn't catch that it was having a, an issue but overall I got a brand new printer um, for a little over half price. Um, again, swapped out the mirror, <coughs> reinforced the bed with the nuts up underneath, and uh, I can uh, put links on how I do all that stuff uh, down below. Um, but the support rod system here is super clean. It's 38 bucks off uh, Creality's eBay website, and I'll post a link down below. Um, installs in about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, there are a few videos showing how they go together. I just wanted to show the pros and cons um, versus the uh, do-it-yourself off Thingiverse. Um, overall, really happy with it. Um, would definitely do it again. Um, kind of considering getting one for the other one, but you know the, the do-it-yourself off Thingiverse is still holding up. So until I have a problem with it, I'm not going to do that. Um, but uh, that's. That's the walkthrough. Um, you can do it either way. I've got links for both down below. And this is Maker Steve signing off.